Schools all over the world have shut down and moved online as the coronavirus spreads globally. Students all over the world have been affected, but the coronavirus is more complicated for students studying internationally. Ryan Cohen and Chloe Barrett are both Americans studying internationally in the UK. Both of them have faced the consequences of time difference, travel restrictions, and missing out on opportunities they could have been having at school. My school didn't technically close, but I booked a plane ticket and got out, so. How many days was that after Trump made that announcement? Like a day. How do you think that your school responded to the coronavirus? Pretty badly. We should have closed a lot sooner before. There's like 17 kids there right now that can't go back to their homes because their country closed all borders. Um, I think they did as best as they could. Um, you know, while it was a little bit frustrating about certain situations, especially as an international student, the response time um, wasn't as quick as we would like, but then again, we had to remember they're going through a lot. So what do you think about how America and England are handling the crisis? Have you like noticed differences between them and do you think that one place is handling it better than the other? I would say, you know, overall, the UK I think have pretty much gotten in line and really respected the stay-at-home orders. But then again, you know, it's a, it's a much smaller country and I think that it makes a massive difference being closer to Europe and the smaller countries with outbreaks have really spread. Like I said, seeing what happened in Italy, it was watching um, just a losing battle. It was terrible to see. And so I think people really took it quite seriously immediately over here. So you said that England was handling it worse than America. Like why, what makes you say that? Uh, they were trying to do a complete herd immunity, which meant they weren't going to do anything except deal with all the cases. And then Boris got it. He was like, wow, that was a dumb idea. It's a lot more serious than I thought it was. And now they aren't doing that. Um, and I'm seeing that kind of slowly come over in the U.S. So there is, you know, each state is different we also have to keep in mind is the UK is one country, but each state has different plans. You know, Kansas might not get infected as much as New York is, clearly. What the only thing I can hope is I see a lot of anti lockdown protests, and I totally understand their concerns and such, but I just hope that they can kind of take a note from Europe and the UK and the way that we stop the lockdown, just essentially in the attitude, the more that we stay at home, the more that we follow these orders, the quicker we can get out of this lockdown and back to normal life. It's harder to deal with it here because each state is like an individual country. And so some states don't agree with what other states want to do. And so you get a lot of contention there, but I think the U.S. is dealing with it better just because we are making new things. Uh, testing is, I think we've tested a lot more people than anywhere else in the world, so, uh, but. I'm Kate Coe, and this has been The Roar Reporting.